When we arrested these guys, we'd get every image and every movie off their machine. There wouldn't be one or two, there'd be hundreds of thousands, ranging from just awfulness, to images of nude families on a beach, to bathtub pictures, of children's feet, and just little kids in swimsuits. They'd get these images from social media. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just a quick one right now to warn everybody, the dangers of the internet is a very real and present danger and none more so than this, which explains everything. So this lady uploaded a video on TikTok recently. All right, mommy influencers, I need, I need you to ask yourself, why would 77,000 people save a video of your toddler? And then why would 227,000 people be saving or sharing that video? I think we know that they're not saving and sharing it because they just think your toddler is the cutest toddler in the world, right? No. And before you say, I can't control what bad people are going to do with the content I make of my toddler. See, that's where you're wrong. Because you can. These point of view toddler videos where you're exploiting your toddler and using vulgar language to describe their body, it's disgusting. It's, protect your freaking kids, okay? So some excellent points there. However, not everybody thought so. In the comment section, it was awash with brain dead people. I'm sorry, but I can't really call you anything else. It's just, the type of comments defending why people put their kids online is just insane to me. Now, one particular comment stood out, and it was this one. You are sick in the head. No one else thinks this way but you. I follow her, and it's adorable, and it's cute. So, this type of comment I receive so often, it's unbelievable. People thinking that because you see why there's a problem, you see why exploiting or exposing your kids to predators is a problem, you must be the problem because you see it and they don't. If your mind goes into that dark place, that means that you are the sick one and not the people who are viewing it or exposing your kids to it, you know? Because the normal people, they don't think like that. However, you should always think like that. When you're putting your kids online, you should always think, worst case scenario, what could happen? If you're not happy with one predator getting a hold of your kid, don't post them online end of story so this man here answered the question or answered this comment in the best possible way and please watch it because it's very very important and it might sicken you but it it needs more exposure this comment wasn't addressed to me but i thought i'd chime in and there's no hate here. You don't know what you don't know. You don't know me, but I worked Crimes Against Children for seven years. I was an Internet Crimes Against Children and on the Innocent Images Task Force with the FBI. My job was to hunt child predators. When we arrested these guys, we'd get every image and every movie off their machine. There wouldn't be one or two. There'd be hundreds of thousands, ranging from just awfulness to images of nude families on a beach to bathtub pictures of children's feet and just little kids in swimsuits. They get these images from social media. Some parents even sell clothed photo packets of their children. And if you've never seen it before, it's hard for good people to think evil. I almost always had to get a confession because it was hard for a normal jury to understand how a fully grown man could be sexually attracted to a toddler. But putting your kids' images on the internet, it's like dangling them over a shark tank. And if a guy has a bunch of baseball cards, it's highly likely he likes baseball. See, now this guy seems to know what he's talking about. He's worked in the field, he's seen everything, and he knows it all, basically. And he's put it across much more succinctly than I did. I called people brain dead. He didn't do that. He was very nice about it. 
but he was also very truthful and tells you exactly how it is because it is a very real danger that we have in society and yet a good proportion a good proportion of people don't believe it exists i have people currently in the comments people in fact probably will comment on this video to tell me that i'm wrong even though it's not me that's saying it i will be wrong and i will be the sick one for pointing it out because i see it and they don't because apparently if you see it then you must be sick and that is the way it goes but I hope you've taken away from this that this is a danger to children. Just because there are bad people in the world doesn't mean to say that everybody's bad. However, you still need to protect your children from those people that are bad. Don't just say, well, I can't stop that 1% who are going to view this content i can't stop them if they're going to view it they're going to view it you can't think like that you need to protect your kids and i think that should be basic parental instinct until next time please give this video a massive thumbs up comment everything you want to comment down below and subscribe to the channel and help me get up to 9,000 subs because that'll be great until next time take care of yourselves have a lovely day and bye-bye.